Hey there guys, welcome back. Our today's problem is length of string. We have to write a program to find the length of string, get a string input and print its length. So if our input is hello world, then our output should be 11. So finding the length of the string is a very common task for a problem. So almost all the languages provide functions to solve this task. But here we won't use that function. What we will do here is we will count each element and we'll take a helper variable to store the length as we move forward in the string. Each and every character of the string will be included in its length. Okay. So here we'll use enhanced for loop or it is also called as for each loop. In this loop, we don't need to increment value and use subscript notation. It works on element spaces and not indexing. Also, it returns element one by one in the defined variable. The reason to use enhanced for loop here is that we have to find the length of the variable. So if we use for loop, we need the length of the string to iterate over it. So here we'll use enhanced for loop. So let's see. We have a class string length. And here we have a method that is static int length. This method will return the length of the string in int form. And it takes one argument that is string whose length we have to calculate. Now we'll use enhanced for loop. So let's have a look in enhanced for loop. In this for loop, we have two parts. In normal for loop, we have three parts separated by semicolon. Here we have two parts separated by colon. In the second part, we use an array or collection to be iterated. Here I'm talking about Java collection. And in the first part, we use a variable for storing each element on each iteration. For example, if we have an array with these elements, so we will take here int variable because our array contains int data. At first iteration, one is stored in this variable, then two, and then at the last iteration, three will be stored. Here in our problem, we have string so we can convert it into array of characters. We can do this by using the library method of string class that is string dot two care array. Notice two care array is in camel case. This method will return us the array of each characters of string. For example, if we have this string, hello, and we'll call to care array on the string. Then we'll get inside array H E L L O. Each character as a single element of the array. And we can use this array of characters in for loop. So let's use this for colon. First, we'll initialize our char variable, so char c colon, and after colon, as dot to char array. And as we move through the array, we'll increase length, so length plus plus. We have to initialize length variable before that, and we'll return length. Now, let's write the driver code. We'll use scanner class to take the input. Scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in. String s is equal to sc dot next line. This is the method to take string input. Okay. And then we'll call method length and we'll pass s. So this returns the length of the string. So we'll print it system.out.println and we'll import scanner class import java.util.scanner 
okay now let's see running string length dot java java c string length dot java okay so program is compiled successfully now let's run java string length so the console is waiting for us to enter anything so let's write hello world okay we are getting 11 see each character even space is also a character so this is also included in its length okay if we have some other characters like hello dash world then instead of space we have dash so that will include in the length okay so whatever we write here that is treated as a character okay you can check for more test cases so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you